controversy brewing at East Carolina University. A marketing professor says that she wants to carry her gun on campus, even though it is illegal in the state of North Carolina to bring a gun on a college campus. But she wants to do it to prove a point that all rights matter. It all started when 19 members of the marching band, they knelt down, they refused to play during the performance of the national anthem at one of the football games. They were protesting police brutality. Well, those students were not disciplined, despite breaking the school rules. So why the double standard? Dr. Tracy Tootin joins us now with more on this. Thanks for being with us. So why? Hi, Easley. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Why do you think it's important for you to carry the gun on campus based on what happened after the kids knelt during the national anthem? A, a few years ago, I was stalked by an East Carolina University student. And it was at that time that I became trained, bought my first gun, and was able to use that to protect myself, except that I can't do that on campus because of that law that prevents concealed carry on campus. And so when the students broke those rules and the university said that it was their First Amendment right, I realized that this was an opportunity for us to emphasize all of our rights and I should also have my Second Amendment rights to be able to carry on campus. And what is the school saying? What did the chancellor say when you said, I, I need this gun on campus to protect myself? I've not had any response from the university. Now the cha chancellor is saying that's a school, this is a school rule, that the kids are not allowed to kneel during the national anthem. Mm -hmm. But the problem with the gun thing, that's a state law. How do you plan on getting past that? Have you talked to some of your Congress or some of the legislators there? I have. I, I met with Senator Bill Cook um, yesterday, and I also have meetings next week with the Pitt County Commissioners. and. Um, what we're going to do is to, to try to change this legislation. I'm going to work with them to be able to do that. One of the most important reasons, um, not only you know, for me to protect myself against stalkers and, and for other women to be able to protect themselves, but it also will help with 911 issues. If there were to be a mass shooting at, at East Carolina and teachers were allowed to conceal carry, trained people like myself, then we would be able to respond much faster than the 911 responders would be able to. Are you planning on still carrying your gun on campus? I, I won't as long as it's against the law. I, would, I won't do anything that would cause me to lose my rights as a citizen. I am too eager to vote for Mr. Trump come November. What's the reaction from folks in, in North Carolina, some of your friends and other professors on campus? Uh, in response to, to my Second Amendment rights or, or what the ban did? Correct. What do they think? Do they think you should be allowed to carry a gun on campus? I, I believe they do. I have had so many phone calls and emails, I mean, really over a hundred messages from people thanking me for taking this stand, um, both from women who have, have been fearful and, and want to be able to protect themselves, and also many messages from husbands saying thank you because my wife needs to be able to protect herself. All right, Professor, thank you for being with us. Our thoughts and our prayers are with the folks down in North Carolina after the hurricane hit you all pretty hard. Thanks yeah, for being with us. It has been very difficult here. Yeah, thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you.